Hi everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Deborah and this is the edit by DH. Today I will be reviewing a, I want to say new brand, but it's not new. It's new to me. It might be new to some of you. I'm sure it will be, but it's been around for a little while. So it's a brand called La Bouche Rouge. So it's a French brand and in French it means red lips. I think the thing that got my attention about La Bouche Rouge and especially as a new brand, because I come across so much makeup all the time as you guys can imagine, because I used to work for the beauty industry as you guys know, when a new brand comes along it kind of needs to wow me. I have higher expectations just because it's such a saturated market and I think if you're going to you know, enter the beauty industry now you have to be an all singing, dancing and just well from all fronts. The thing that got my attention about Le Bouche Rouge as I was saying is they are very environmentally conscious should I say. Obviously a lot of beauty brands nowadays are trying to be more environmentally conscious and environmentally friendly whatever phrase you want to use but with Le Bouche Rouge it's quite unusual in that it's a luxurious brand but they're, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the first brand that is claiming to be completely plastic free. Now with makeup, I don't know if you're aware of this, there are microplastics within makeup. And so Le Bouge Rouge is claiming that there's no microplastics in their makeup. You know when you have lipsticks, the lipsticks often have, especially from higher end brands, they will have a stamping of like the brand's logo, the name, a pattern, whatever. I heard that those are made with sort of like silicone templates for want of a better word and apparently those silicone templates are one use only. So you can only imagine how many millions get wasted just to make that lipstick for example. So this Le Bouche Rouge lipstick doesn't have any of that. In addition to that, most of the products are refillable and again that is obviously environmentally friendly. I'll go through it in more detail in just a moment but the eyeshadow, bronzer and highlighter I think are like the same packaging, the same case and then obviously the lipstick is the lipstick. I mean environment obviously is important but from a consumer perspective I just like the fact that I can swap and change anytime I like. They've created these cases with real leather and I think there are vegan leather options as well. Plus there's the element of customization so I believe you can have your like initials engraved on the lipstick and for those who are interested it will just be in silver as an option because it matches the silver hardware. So just a little bit more about the founders and again excuse my French pronunciation, I wish I was fluent in French but here we go. So the owner whose name is Nicolas Jolier, he at 36 decided to launch the first Maison de Maquillage. So maquillage is makeup in French. He wanted something that was sustainable and humanist with the aim to create a desire for a different type of consumption. An eighth continent of waste is on the brink of exploding. It wouldn't be possible today to create a beauty maison that isn't eco-friendly, that has no meaning, that isn't part of a societal project. Apparently 83% of the world's water is populated by microplastic and cosmetics is the second most polluting industry. One year ago on September the 9th, 2016, my encounter with Ezra Petronio was decisive. He is responsible for the design and the creative direction of La Bouche Rouge and has accepted to collaborate with me in this adventure. In terms of the eye category, they have offerings such as eyeshadow, plus eye pencils, a mascara, an eyebrow serum, eyebrow pencils, and then they have like some eye brushes. For face, they have bronzers, highlighters, again face brushes, and then for lips, they have lipsticks, lip pencils. Now that I've done a quick intro, I will now get stuck into what I got from my La Bouche Rouge haul. So this is the eyeshadow case. It comes with a cardboard cover. You can see the La Bouche Rouge logo embossed there, LBR. Then when you open it, it has a case, which is this gorgeous red leather case. Now there are different colors in the case. It's not just red. So in terms of cases, they have seven colors. There's like a blush pink, sky blue, a grayish kind of color, camel, black, burgundy, and then this red case. By the way, I got it from the Harrods website. I think I wanted the camel and I think it wasn't available. So 
I could only have the red option, but it's still a gorgeous classic color. And they do have a vegan leather case as well, and that is only in black. So now when you open it up, this is again the Le Bouche Rouge engraving in there. And it's such a weighty product. It feels extremely heavy, but there's something about weighty products, which I've told you guys before, like it feels luxurious. Now, what I really love about the website, and I'll try and add a sort of a link to it, is that when you go on to each products section, it includes not only a description of the product, but a story of how it came along, why it's good for you, why it's good for the planet, and then lastly, ingredients and how to apply. I love that because often when you go on websites, even if it's a brand's own website, it doesn't give you that information. Now, this is the palette that I got. Now, they actually have five palette shades, but I got this one because I just like the fact that it's the most wearable colors. They're matte, and I'm really intrigued to find out like how it will apply. This is Les Ombres Attache. I think that's how you say it. This is described as a harmony of matte beige, four matte shades enriched in hyaluronic acid around beige and sand, which perfectly blend together for a subtle, gentle, smoky eye. It contains 90% natural ingredients. It's formulated without microplastic, what I was saying before, without talc, without silicone, and is not tested on animals. It's an infusion of ultra concentrated pigments, which allow you to obtain an intense, buildable result from the very first application using your finger or a brush. These eyeshadow palettes were inspired by the multitude of hues that can be seen in riverbeds at various hours of the day. Loyal to our commitment to the planet, they name these color combinations to renowned rivers that are essential for the planet, yet are slowly disappearing. So that's where the inspiration for the eyeshadow names come from. Uh, so earlier I said it was infused with hyaluronic acid, rice powder, so they replaced silicone with rice powder, which is a natural source of vitamin B which gives that velvety and smooth skin. They've only used responsibly produced mica. They've used shea butter, which is obviously a nourishing ingredient, and sunflower seed oil for moisturization. I mean, it sounds incredible so far, like my eyelids are going to look like baby butt cheeks at the end of it. So why is it good for the planet? There's no petrochemical derivatives. The formulas are vegan, free from beeswax and petrochemical and not tested on animals. It's got a universal compact case, which is made without plastic, and instead composed of a sustainable, 100% recycled metal alloy. So this is a metal alloy, and apparently the production of it releases few carbon emissions. It's refillable and can house all of the Maison's powders and shadows. So like I said earlier, it's got the convenience of fitting other products in it as well. As for the case, which is the leather case, each compact comes in a fine leather case made by hand from the final meters of the existing leather production from the prestigious Tannerie de Puy in France. Sorry if that's wrong. I'm really trying not to deliberately kill the French language. So <laughs> that's where it's made from. It can be engraved FYI for an additional cost. Now, like I said, I got it from Harrods and it was £87 for the set. So the leather compact case is £55 FYI. And then the refills, depending on what you get, can vary from 26 to 33 pounds, I think it is. So there isn't actually a discount by purchasing it separately or together. It's the same price, 87 pounds. I know that was a longer introduction than normal, but I'm just mindful of the fact that it's not cheap. So that's why I just wanted to give you all the necessary information, especially because it's a new brand to me and I'm sure it will be to a lot of you as well. I know it might seem expensive, 87 pounds for an eyeshadow set, but once you have the case, you can just swap and change the eyeshadow like refill, for instance, and then which is, I think, £33. So then really you're just paying £33 for an eyeshadow case, which actually is pretty decent. Well, I say that, but let's try it out first. So before I get ahead of myself, I want to try it out. Now, it did say earlier in the description that it can be used with your finger, it can be used with a brush. Generally with matte powders, I prefer to use a brush just because I want it to go on more seamlessly and not look so patchy. Shimmer shadows I find and glitter especially are best with fingers. 
So I did prime my eyes earlier with a little bit of eyeshadow primer in the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Base, which I always use. One thing I've realized is that this mirror is slightly magnified, which freaked me out at first. <laughs> But actually it's really clever because when you're applying your eye makeup, you really want to see the details, right? So I really love the fact that it's magnified. It blends so beautifully. It is really pigmented. And I always get a little bit worried about matte eyeshadow pigments because some work really well like this one and others you're just wanting to pull your hair out. But this one, it blends so seamlessly and beautifully. It does feel expensive which I didn't expect to feel about beigey type, brownie type matte eyeshadows. So now I did get the mascara. I got the mascara, which is called Mascara Le Serum Noir, and it is 36 pounds. It's the world's first glass mascara with a 99% natural origin ingredients formula and no petrochemical derivatives that ensures volume and care. It's 100% recyclable. With our commitment to the planet in mind, our mascara is not waterproof, as a waterproof mascara is formulated with film-forming, plasticizing agents. Our mascara formula contains water to facilitate the removal of your makeup without rubbing and damaging the lashes. So that's really good to know. So it says, simultaneously serving as a mascara and lash care, it contains jojoba oil, which basically nourishes and stimulates eyelash growth. Canalba wax, which thickens, stretches, and lifts lashes from root to tip for glamour eyes. And again, it doesn't contain silicon talc nor microplastics. The glass bottle is a jewel of innovation. Each part of the bottle was designed to be desirable and recyclable. The glass tube is produced in France using traditional glass making techniques that draw upon 100 year old savoir faire. The cap is made in 100% recyclable metal. So that's the cap. The thing is, guys, when it says recyclable, I don't know about you, sometimes I just instantly think it's going to look cheap. That's me being completely honest. I'll put my hands up. That's what I think. However, so far, none of this is giving me cheap vibes. Even this glass, obviously it's glass, so there is a weight to it, but it just looks and feels expensive. So, the brush. Wow, this brush looks incredible. It won't pick up on camera, but there's like lots of tiny little bristles. So I have a feeling it's going to really grip the lashes really well. So it says the brush and wiping ring are the first in the world without microplastic. Instead, the brush is composed of castor plant fiber. Its shape was designed to lengthen lashes and provide thickness and volume without clumping. The wiping ring is crafted from plastic-based fiber materials. It says you can place your mascara in your normal glass recycle bin and it will never end up in nature. So just as an FYI, this also comes with a case. Now, I didn't get the case because I don't think my mascara needs a case, but if you wanted to be extra bougie, you can get a case with this. The leather sleeves, again, there's seven colors that you can get the same seven colors I mentioned for the other case. And then again, the vegan is just in black. And again, you can engrave your initials on the case if you wanted to. I mean, I personally wouldn't do it for myself, but you can do it for yourself. Alternatively, I think it would be a really lovely gift. So if you have a friend who appreciates makeup, has all the usual brands in their collection, even if you just got them like one thing, if you wanted to spend that money, you could then get an additional like leather case and engrave it to customize and personalize it. So that is a nice gift option. So now let's go in and apply. So I'll apply one eye first. So you can kind of hopefully see the difference between before and after. What I'll do as well, guys, is add an update, my pinned comments, as per usual. If you don't see anything, give me a friendly nudge. Give me a kick up the bum, and I'll let you know how the mascara wears, because although it says it's not waterproof, sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, you know, be runny or anything. And listen, if it doesn't transfer on my eyes, it won't transfer on your eyes. Right, so I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Hopefully you can. This is the eye with the mascara on. And this is the eye without. With? Without. So it was really easy to apply, especially my lower lashes. As I predicted, because of the wand and the way it's designed with all those tiny bristles, it just grips onto the lashes so well and sort of applies it, like I said, without clumping. It sort of separates the lashes as well. 
So I really, really love that. Let me just go in and quickly do the other eye and I'll be back. So that is the eyes and I am so impressed by the eyeshadow guys. I'm so impressed by the mascara. I'm so impressed so far, full stop. Finally, we're going on to the lipstick. So <laughs> I just want to show you something. So this is obviously the lipstick refill. In this case, it was like a set if that makes sense so you know like a pre-packaged set now you could do the same with a lipstick you can get a pre-packaged set i got the case and refill separately like i said it doesn't make it more expensive or cheap so this is the refill and this is the case okay so i really am curious to see why the case is that big let's open it up i'll open up the lipstick first so it comes like this again with the cardboard sleeve then the lipstick is in this sort of like cardboard casing so the lipstick refill i think is 36 pounds and i believe i got the color passionate red so you can see it's like a refill you twist it up and that's the color passionate red so that's the swatch of passionate red i'll obviously apply it on my lips i've just realized i didn't swatch the eyeshadow palette for you so i'll swatch that as well before the end of this video so that is passionate red now i really ummed and ahed about getting another red because you guys know i love reds and you guys also know as a result i have so many reds in my collection then i thought to myself it's very french to wear a red lip is very parisian Plus, the brand itself is called La Bouche Rouge, so it means red lips. I mean, it would be silly to not review a red lipstick from this brand, so that's why I got it. Just as an FYI, apparently this brand started with only lipsticks and obviously has expanded into eyes and face. So again, the lipstick comes like this. Then it's got a little, like, I don't know what you call it, information card. I got this colour, by the way, guys refillable and developed in the classic French artisanal tradition. Because an estimated 1 billion lipsticks are thrown away every year in the world, we designed the first environmentally friendly refill made in France. I believe all their products are made in France, as far as I'm aware. Now, as with everything, there are different colour choices, but the reason I got this sky blue is because I thought it's so summery and just like a fresh colour. And then it's obviously real leather and is magnetic. So it's not actually attached with a hinge or anything. And as you can see, this hardware is silver. And that's why when you get it engraved, I think it's like you can get it there. So like your, in my case, it'll be DH or HD, whatever. And then at the top again, it's engraved with the La Bouche Rouge LBR logo. I think the leather case was £60. But I think depending on what colour you get, I could be wrong. Some are more expensive, just as an FYI. So I pop the thing out, it just easily clicks into the lipstick case like this and voila so it's like this and it again it just feels super expensive Hermes take note then you twist up and you've got your full lipstick I have a little bit of lip balm on my lips just to have prepped and moisturized my lip beforehand I'm not going to line my lips because I just want to see how this performs on its own now this is supposed to be the matte finish just FYI and then I'm just going to buff out the edges. It's such a gorgeous colour. And as you can see, it was stronger earlier. And then I kind of just diffused it, I guess, by blending it out. Because I didn't want a harsh edge. I'll just go back in with the bullet again in the centre. And that shade is called Passionate Red. So it was a gorgeous red, honestly, guys. You know I love my reds. I just perhaps thought that I didn't need another red. But how can I not get a red from a brand called Red Lips? So... Now, as promised, I will swatch the eyeshadow palette for you and I will just quickly see how easy it is to pop out the refill. So, this, you can't really see it, is that base colour that I applied first. This is a greyish colour that I didn't go in with. This is the brown that I put all over my lid and sort of like under my eye. And then this is the dark colour that I used like a eyeliner, basically. So, those are the four shades. And you can see how pigmented it is, to be honest. Now, in order to pop it out, there is a hole at the back of the palette. And I think you can use the pokey thing. I don't know what the official word is that you use to get your SIM card out on an iPhone. Or you could use the back of your earrings. So normally you're given something like this when you get your phone. To be honest, I'm surprised the brand hasn't given or provided one. But hey ho, I think it'd been a nice touch. So now I've pushed it out. Fantastic that it's magnetic. 
and it makes absolute sense that it's magnetic. Just kind of as a point of comparison with Hermes, I recently reviewed Hermes, I will link that video down below. And with the blushes, they're also refillables as are their lipsticks. So actually it's a quite a good brand to compare to. I didn't check to see like how the refillable option works for the blush. And since then I've had a few people reach out, not only subscribers, but also my friend who told me that it's basically just glue stuck onto the bottom of it, which is really disappointing when it's a brand as high-end, as expensive as Hermes to just have their products sort of glued in and it doesn't help when you then need to put in the next product and I feel like it cheapens the whole thing. La Bouche Rouge have used their brains and got it right by making sure that it's a magnetic refillable. Another thing that you might have to consider is kind of how small each shadow is. You are going to need to use a like really small makeup brush, eyeshadow brush like this you wouldn't really be able to fit anything bigger than that into it it really reminds me of the victoria beckham eyeshadows in terms of how small it is and like that four shadow combination i don't have the victoria beckham eyeshadow palette however i will get it soon and i will compare it when i'm reviewing her palette if that makes sense so keep an eye out for that if you are interested in that comparison obviously the victoria beckham one is 50 pounds but it doesn't include the leather case also, when you end up refilling it, it ends up becoming, I think, £26. So if you're thinking about the actual refill itself, and as long as you're happy to keep it in the refill box whilst it's not being used, it actually works out cost-wise versus, say, Victoria Beckham's £50, where you're having to buy the whole thing again and again and again. Here, you just need the refill. But I did want to make you aware of how small the panels are, and that it's got 6.5 grams of product. The lipstick has four grams of product. And again, even though it costs weight, so 60 pounds is the leather case, the lipstick refills about 36 pounds. So it's gonna cost you about a minimum of 96 pounds, almost 100 quid. Depending on the leather case as well, like I said earlier, it could be more expensive depending on the color. I think the 60 pounds case is the cheapest out of the leather cases. So you're spending almost 100 quid on a lipstick. So you're going, hang on a sec, this is crazy talk. And it is. But again, if you're looking at just the refill, the refill itself is £36. Lastly, I just wanted to end on by saying I can't claim to be the most environmentally friendly, you know, sustainable, loving makeup artist or blogger. I wish I could say that, but I don't want to lie to you and say that. I'm obviously trying to be more conscious of what I buy. Even it's just small things like it's so easy to buy all the latest launches, the full collection within that launch, but... I'm trying to be more conscientious of what I'm buying and if it means there's a new launch and I don't get all the shades, you guys know why. Because first and foremost, it's about, you know, not wanting to waste, but also the environment. What you will find in my content this year is not only new brand launch videos and reviews, not only new launches and collections or limited edition collections for existing brands, but also... I'm going to delve more into what I already have in my collection and do sort of videos around that. So that includes the recent how-to video on achieving sort of like a flawless foundation and base alongside my skincare routine. As I mentioned previously, I will also do a my favourite brushes review. So like that, I'm just going to do a mixture of both newness and delve more into what I have in my collection already. If you guys have any suggestions of what kind of content you would like to see, which isn't necessarily around newness, just something, give me some ideas. I would love to hear from you. I always, always love hearing from you. I am super, super duper impressed and I think it's definitely a brand I will revisit in the future. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and ring the notification bell just to be alerted to my new videos. Thanks so much again to everybody who continuously supports me, who continues to send me like lovely encouraging messages. You guys will never know how much that means to me and it just genuinely does make my day. Thanks again, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Working on fire Trying not to bend my feet I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean You know I don't like Butterflies in my stomach Butterflies in my chest 